All right, in this final part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you a few techniques to give your bass some more character and some more movement, some tricks and sequencing techniques that I've uh, picked up along the way. So, go first thing, go into your mid bass and uh, go into your routing panel and uh, take the velocity map it to frequency, turn the amount all the way up. Now, let's just hear how it sounds when I don't do anything to the velocity. So you can hear how that sounds. And I have my auto filter here. I have the amount all the way down for right now. So go into this clip. Um, I'm going to highlight all of these and uh, hold command drag I'm just gonna draw in some velocity ramps just so we can get an idea how this sounds do something like this all right now let's take a listen <laughs> So it's pretty subtle, but you can it gives it some you know character and, and some variation, which is always nice. And you can turn the resonance up to get more dramatic effect, or if you want, you can you know map. The velocity to resonance too. So I kind of like how that sounds. Um, so that's one way to give it some more character. And if you want to put in another voice here, I don't know, maybe throw in a square wave. experiment and find something that you like and if you feel that uh, you don't have enough low-end presence you can go into this sub and add another you know another sine wave and make sure the phase is off a little bit so they won't you know be the same thing and usually I like to bump it an octave and let's you can hear how that gives it just more presence and FM line. That sounded pretty good. Let's hear everything together. sounds pretty good and um, let's go in and do some sequencing stuff and see what kind of so you can hear those long sustained notes are kind of you know boring um, you can go in turn this amount up and now we're gonna go in and draw some stuff in just give it some Ramps, whatever you want to do, really. You can have a lot of fun with stuff like this. Um, I'm sure there's a easier way to do this, but whatever. And so it's here. <laughs> So 
that sounds pretty cool. Um, let's do the same thing over here. I'm just drawing some nice ramps. <laughs> I like to do, you know, drawing some different uh, LFO raids. You can mess with the offset too to give it some off beat type stuff. And uh, I like how that sounded. That sounded pretty cool. Um, also, you can uh, go in here and put the glide on. And um, draw in, you know, take this up an octave if you want. And if you hold in shift and press the up arrow, you can transpose stuff up an octave, which is handy shortcut so you know just go in and mess with these a little bit and uh, you can create some cool sounding stuff Let's see. and to make this a little more effective go in and over overlap these notes these uh the ones that jump and uh with the you're gonna wanna mess with the uh glide time to make these more effective and if you hold command and drag you can bypass the grid lock functionality which is and you in doing this type of uh, type of stuff. So let's just uh So you can hear how the glide can give you some cool Weird you can get really crazy and make stuff sound pretty goofy, but uh, you know, you get the point. And uh, those are just some of the things you can do to give your bass line some more character and motion. And hopefully, some of these techniques will help you out. And uh, I'd love to hear if you guys, you know, get some good ideas from this and what you make of it. So, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. I'll have more of these tutorials and Ableton tips and whatnot uh, coming up soon. So thanks for watching. See you soon.